myself dr s k dikshit welcome you all in physics lab today we are going to discuss the sextant experiment the title of the experiment to determine the distance between two vertical lines above the ground using sextant device course outcome of the experiment after performing the above experiment the students will be able to learn fundamental working principle of the sextant basic concept of angle of elevation and use of instrument fundamental working principle of the sextant is keeping the angle of incidence constant if we are rotating the mirror by an angle theta then reflected ray is turned by the angle 2 theta what is the special feature of the sextant without touching the lines or object by measuring the angle of elevation we can find out the vertical height the formula used by the apparatus the capital h is equal to small h capital h is the distance between the target line and the ground this is the capital h small h is the height from ground to reference line ground to reference line this is the small h x is a distance between two points on the ground there is a c point and d point to angle of elevation uh, from d point is theta 1 this is the target point this is the reference point and angle made by the target point to the reference point is theta 1 from the d and theta 2 from the c basically the theta 1 and theta 2 angle of elevation from c and d and the uh, very important thing we are going to discuss here that angular distances always measured in degrees minute and seconds very important relation all must know that 1 degree is equal to 60 minute and 1 minute is equal to 60 second the discount of the there are three scales in the sextant main scale circular scale and vernier scale and the discount of the main scale is 1 degree circular scale is 1 minute and vernier scale is 12 second respectively what is the formula of the discount minimum reading on the main scale upon total number of divisions on the vernier scale this is our reference line and this is our target line we have to find out the distance from target line to reference line this is approximately 25 cm how we are uh, setting the uh, 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 taking observations in the sextant the first one is the angle of elevation determination when zero error reading is subtracted from the angular elevation reading how the zero error reading is taken when the virtual image of the reference line is coincided with the real image of the reference line in the optical instrument then zero error reading will be taken when the target line virtual image is coincided with the real reference line image then the reading will be angular elevation reading and when the angular elevation reading is subtracted from the zero error reading it gives rise right the angle of elevation and will pull which will put t in the formula and we will get the uh, vertical distance from reference line to target line we are discussing the part of the sextant ex experiment this is the half horizon plate half plate is silvered and the uh, rest of the half is non silvered basically this is the index mirror this is telescope this is the filter to reducing the intensity of light basically there are three scales this is the main scale where minimum reading which can be taken by the main scale is 1 degree and 1 degree is again divided into the 60 divisions in the circular scale the minimum reading which will be taken by the circular scale is 1 minute and 1 minute in again 
divided into the five divisions in the one year scale the minimum reading is taken by the one year scale is 12 second basically and this is the uh, stand on which the this extent experiment is mount here and uh, we are taking the uh, reading from the 3 meter and uh, for the zero feather reading i am going to coincide the reference line of the uh, real image of the reference line and virtual image of the reference line i am going to coincide and uh, the reading comes around the of the zero error is from 3 meter 90 degree 12 minute and 48 second and uh, when they are converting into the degrees it comes around 19.213 degree and uh, for angular elevation reading when we are coinciding this the virtual image of the target line with the real image of the reference line when they are coinciding and uh, we are taking the readings in the main scale circular scale and the one year scale it comes around the 23 degree and uh, 25 minute and 36 second when they are all converting into the degrees it comes around 23.42 degree and uh, for angle of elevation we are subtracting the angular elevation reading b from ang the zero error reading uh, 19.213 it comes around 4.207 degree this is the angular elevation from the 3 meter point and similarly we have taken the reading from the 4 meter and zero error reading comes around uh, 19.613 degree and uh, angular elevation reading 22.57 degree when they are subtracting from 20 Uh, 22.57 to 19.613 it comes around the 2.957 degree this is the angle of elevation from 4 meter now now we are putting the angle angle of elevations uh, and uh, x value in the formula we get the h1.24 meter this is the distance from reference line to target line and this is the achieved outcome and the expected outcome which is the standard value it is 0.25 meter then uh, so this is the what is the uh, special feature of the sextant basically we have already discussed without touching the root lines we can measure the height by measuring the angle of elevations we can find out the angular diameter diameter of the sun angular di mean, diameter of the moon also generally this experiment is used by the civil engineers for the height measurements thank you have a nice day